everyone. Welcome back to Painted. Wow, cut off the top of my head. Let's see if I can get that camera just a little bit. Glad to see everyone here again on this Sunday in the first weekend in February. We're closing in on Valentine's Day. I don't know. You either love Valentine's Day or you hate it. I'm personally kind of indifferent to it. My husband does. We all, we all do Valentine's Day kind of mellow, I think, in our house. Um, you know, we're, we, we have birthday and Christmas and New Year's between December and January. We kind of swamped with them all, so we tend not to get too excited about February Valentine's Day because, you know, quite frankly, by February, we're kind of tired of the whole gift-giving thing. <laughs> but that doesn't mean we don't do cool projects and stuff in the studio for Valentine's Day. Now, yesterday, if you watched our live, you saw our hearts and flowers stool and our cheetah bar that we're working on. So today's uh, live is titled Hearts and Flowers and Cheetahs. Yes, I kind of was making a little pun on cheaters. I came out as I was writing it. It wasn't intentional, and then it ended up being that way. So, okay, hearts and flowers and cheetahs. Let's get going. Don't need to talk too long. All right. I, by the way, I ask everybody who watches, please share the video around. We need a, the exposure. So yesterday, you saw we did our, our little heart-shaped uh, plant stand. We did the pattern on the top with the Artsyville metallic plaster. I ran through it with the chrysanthemum roller and then created a textured edge that will be neatened up and stuff as we go along. Um, the next thing uh, I did is today, well, before you all got on with me, I put foil adhesive, our Artsyville foil adhesive on the legs because we're going to go for the next stage of more hearts and flowers. And we're going to go using our Bailey's flower foil on the legs of this because I love this. Now, um, Jennifer Ferguson, who is amazing with furniture and foils, usually chooses the uh, Abigail because it's lighter and brighter. Well, I'm a little darker, so I went with the darker flowers. <laughs> and we're gonna take this and put it over here and I'm gonna kind of switch the way the camera angle is so that you all can see what I'm doing. Kind of a little close. Let's see if I can get you this in and get my head in. Look, the top of my head, yay. <laughs> you can see this though. Um, and then we're going to work on this little, I'll probably turn it down sideways after I do some of the edges so that you can get a better view of what I'm doing. But it's a little challenging when every edge that I could possibly lay this down on um, is sticky from foil adhesive. So first thing I'm doing is I'm cutting off a little, a little tiny strip. And the reason is then I can stick that on this edge here apply the foil, and really I'm just trying to apply it to this edge. Whoops, I almost knocked it off the table. Uh, I'm just trying to apply it to this edge so that I then create an edge that I can set the table down on um, and we can get a better showing. Gosh, though, that already released so nicely. That's really, really good. Uh, push this down so you can see the rest of this. And I'm going to go down the edge of this leg because I want to do the flat parts with um, other pieces. But this really helps just to have these edges already rubbed on. And look how well that releases. I mean, just like a dream. Seriously, look how nice that is. And I'm not only doing it with my finger. If I went at it with another tool, I could get even more intense bright release on here. Right now, this is working for what I need it. And then I'm gonna do the same on all of these edges. But I'm also gonna check because right here, um, on this side, I missed a little over here because I didn't have it at an angle where I could see it as well. Nothing new, that always happens. I'm just gonna go down, get that edge right there. because this gun gives me a safe surface to lie down on the table where it's not gonna pick up any crud that might have, you know, inadvertently or, you know, given the glitter queen that I am, um, left a little glitter trail behind from something else I was working on. 
and there we go. Now, again, as always, if you have questions or comments, type them. If I miss them because I can't, I'm looking on my project and it scrolls by, do not hesitate to leave the question there. I will answer it as I review and put all our materials list in the um, post when I ac actually fully post this to Facebook when we're done. So I go through all the questions. I try to answer everything. If I'm not clear, um, absolutely tell me, tell me, tell me, because sometimes what makes sense to me in my head doesn't always come out of my mouth in a way that makes a lot of sense. So, I mean, I've really done as almost as much on this piece of foil as I can. Hi, Cindy, nice to see you here. So I'm gonna cut another thin strip. which I know you can't see me doing because I'm trying to keep the, the plant stand in the camera, not you know the excitement of watching me cut a piece of foil. It's about as almost as exciting as watching paint dry, watching somebody cut a piece of something with a scissor. I'm getting all those little edges there that I missed earlier. And sometimes I have to do that facing me, not you all, because it won't show clearly in certain lights. I need a better view of what I'm reaching. All right, so I'm going up here on the top of this one once again, just laying that foil all the way down, and all I'm doing is rubbing it with my fingers, and this is releasing like a dream. And jeez, that just releases so nicely. I love this Bailey's flowers. This is this is probably my personal favorite. This dark flowers, kind of dark and Victorian and romantic, which I really like. I've always been, it's like what the, the foil I would imagine Jane Austen would pick. Flowery, but practical and a little bit dark. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of reaching, I think. Comparing my foils to Jane Austen. Wow, that was a little presumptuous on my part. I hope you all got a, a chuckle out of that one. Okay, so I've done all these edges. I think I got one more spot right there because it looked like I skipped a little bit right there. Yep, and now I'm going to be able to turn this on the side so you can see me working on the legs. But the transformation when you do these. And I still have to do, let's get this over so that we're aiming in the right way. You're not just looking at my nose and the top of my glasses. Oh, let's not do that. And aiming down. Let's see if you can see. Yeah, that should work right there. So, hmm. I need to get a better angle on this so you all can see a little better. Maybe if I straighten this up, come down. Let's see how that looks. Uh, push it back. I really want you all to be able to see clearly what's happening. All right, I'll be able to get at that now. I can do that. So I'm taking a little more foil and I'm pulling my hair that I just shed into the foil adhesive out. I'm going to take a longer piece this time. I want something about as long as the leg. And the very minimum I should be able to get out of this is a full leg and the back. And let's see. Yeah. I'm a lefty, and I always use regular scissors. I learned to cut with them years ago because left-handed scissors suck. But every once in a while, I have a moment where I just can't make the scissor work. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this out up here and set it down. I didn't quite get all the way down to the bottom of the foot here, so I'm not going to burnish this foil down at this edge down here because I don't want a straight line or a seam to show. So what, it, what I'm going to do is actually burnish a rough spot close to the edge but then when I need to patch the foil down here, I won't have a sharp edge and it won't look like, you know, 
the edge of a wallpaper, that a piece of wallpaper that got mismatched. All right, so I've got that applied to the leg right here. I'm scrub. I don't think you all can see what's really happening. Let me do that. So I've got the foil placed here. I have this little tiny gap here, but it's not rubbed all the way down. And let's see, I'm gonna peel back to see how my, oh yeah, that's pretty. I just want a little more rub right up there. I'm gonna to have to put it where you can't see it because I need to put a little bit of pressure on here. And then I wanna massage it. I always massage this with my fingers to make sure if there's any air bubbles, I can get the foil released where the air bubble is. All right, all right, let's peel this back and we can, I mean, look. Oh, that's so pretty. Look how pretty that is. And then I'm just gonna go down here to the foot and overlap and rub. And it's perfect, perfect release right there. Make sure it's perfect, because I always like to make sure. Sorry, I'm jiggling the camera, rubbing with my fingers. And then I have a little skip spot right there. It's a little dent in the, the wood. And I don't always, you know, some people, they have to fill every little nook and cranny on wood. Sometimes I don't do that. I want to embrace what it actually is. And then maybe later, if it needs, if it's really bad, I'll fill it. But if it's not, I'm not bothering. All right, so I am putting the foil on here. As you can see, I am rubbing it just with my hands right now. And I'll probably only get it partially down the leg because I don't have it turned in a way that I could have laid it smooth. I want you all to be able to see how I'm doing this. And I just want to grab carefully so I don't stick my fingers in any other wet adhesive and keep that from having a good release later because while this stays sticky forever, if you keep touching, 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 I mean, think about touching a piece of scotch tape. If you keep touching and touching and touching and touching and touching the adhesive, you actually dull the adhesive by depositing skin cells and other stuff on there that you probably don't really want. But it also, you know, then it stops sticking. All right, I'm getting the back of this table leg because, you know, it's stuck there. So I'll get the back of this too and get as far as it's stuck. I'm gonna have to kind of go in here because it's taut. Hi Gina, hi Melanie, hi Charlie, nice to see you. Oh, I love how this releases. Oh, this is really one. Ah, it all stuck. <laughs> this is truly one of my favorite foils. It just, the release is gorgeous. The final look is stunning. Honestly, I, I would love to do like a whole room with this. But let's face it, I'm not getting on a ladder again for a while. <laughs> I just do lots and lots of furniture with it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I just look how pretty that is. And then I'm going to get this part down here. Alrighty, I'm going to get the back of this leg too. Oh yeah, that looks great. Oh yes, yes, yes. I get so excited when it comes out well because I really love how this looks. I don't love how I managed to get everything stuck, but that's because I'm a klutz. So I'm going to cut this up a little bit, if I can fit, remember where I put my scissors, um, because I have a couple spots on the backs of these legs that I want to get while I'm watching you. Uh, Susan, nice to see you here. I'm going to open my iPad to see if I can see your comments. iPad has been really strange lately for not letting me see um, the comments as they go out. So, my iPad to see oh wow, I, mean, I forgot to turn the volume down. So let me see if iPad's letting me see comments. And, yep, there we go. Hey, you got to do a birthday table. 
uh, and for Raj theme and any thought on foils. Um, I'll tell you what, Susan, give me a few minutes to think about it because right now I'm kind of more thinking flowered garden party with this foil, so I need to, but I've got some ideas. I think more of what you need is a lot of gold and stencils that are paisley and layered over each other and wonderful cutout patterns. I have some ideas um, off the top of my head because the powder room I did that was bright pink, that ended up very Indian theme, even though the stencils I used were actually more European, uh, with the exception of the paisley stencil. Um, of course, Indian Raj theme, there is a heavy European influence in that, so it actually might be fairly appropriate. Let me, let me, let me, let me think. All right, so I've gotten one table leg done. Okay, let's see. Um, <laughs> how am I gonna go at this? I think we're gonna do the back of this table leg first. And I'm trying to do these in, in a way that you can see it. So there will be things that I have missed because I can't see the angle always. I am angling for you guys on the camera to see what I'm doing. Okay, I got the back of this leg. I don't want to not use up I have a lot of print on this foil, so I don't want to waste it. And if I can use it to fill in the back of a leg, that's what I'm going to do. Oh. I think foils, the way foils have evolved in our industry, they have become, they've gone from something frustrating because when I first started using foils, I found them very frustrating. This adhesive wasn't that great. The releases were not good and it just made me nuts. The way foils have evolved, we've got better foils and way better adhesive, and you get such beautiful release on these. All right, I'm gonna set that to the side, and we're gonna cut another piece, and I'm gonna do it over here, so um, you, sh you should be able to see part of it, but I need to be able to see at least one side while I'm working on it. Okie dokie. Try not to drop it on the floor. Um, Foils aren't ruined when you drop them on the floor, but what can happen is that you can pick up dust with, the, with static, and then you end up foiling dust onto your surface, not the foil. <laughs> so I try really hard not to let the piece of foil hit the floor. It's not the end of the world if you do, but it's not my, it's, it's not the favorite way to apply after, <laughs> to be honest. Alrighty. Um, just while we're toiling, while I'm burnishing and stuff this down, a few upcoming events. Um, next Saturday, I'm going to be uh, doing a live on Artistic Painting Studios website. We'll be doing foils and epoxy uh, thermal cups. So I'll be doing a live on those. Um, we are actually hosting a make your own Yeti style thermal cup here in the studio next Sunday. So if you want to come and try it out for yourself, learn how to do this on your own, come on to the class. It's very affordable. You can sign up at paintedstudio.com. And our classes are now currently on the schedule through March. So if you're interested in coming and taking a class with us, please check out our schedule. Oh yeah. Look how great that comes out. Oh, I love this, love this, love this. Hi, Rima. Nice to see you with us. All right. I'm going to do the back of the table leg. Let's see. I may, I think I'm going to flip this so that you all can. Yeah. Oh, there's a table leg. I'm trying to find ways to get at stuff where you can see it. So I've got one more. You can see I've got the adhesive on there. That's why it's shiny. Set coat on its own is not shiny like that. And I'm going to apply the table leg. And look how fast this makeover is going. I mean, yesterday you looked at it, it was pink on top and black on the bottom, and that's all there was to it. Oh, this is, these foil makes 
for a very fast and very, very effective ma uh, makeover on anything. Oh, I love this flower foil. This is really one of my favorites. I love it so much. Okay, I got one little gap spot right there. That's weird. Maybe I skipped it with the adhesive because it doesn't feel sticky either. So I may have missed a spot there. That wouldn't be the first time. All right, now I'm going to flip it over so that we can do back sides of the legs. Okay, that one you've seen. That's that one. What am I doing? Why can I not get this so that you all can see what I'm doing? I, you know what it is? I'm watching myself in the camera and it's messing me up in a big way. I gotta stop doing that. All right, there we go. Now you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take this. Stick it at the top here. And then stretch it out and lay it down this way. All the way down. Now I cut some of the foil that I'd already used, but that's what happens when you're working on a curve. That happens sometimes. The table legs curve, so while, even though it's flat, if I got a little spot that got used up for a different thing, I have to peel it off. Oh gosh, yeah. Jeez, that's such a good release. And then I have to go back And touch it up. Another spot that's wide enough. And I'm rolling over the back of the leg too, so I make sure I get the back of the lower half of this leg. Because I'd already gotten in here before. Oh, I like how this looks. Yes. Oh yeah, that looks so good. Oh, yeah. I'm going over a little couple spots just to make sure I didn't miss anything anywhere. At least from where I can see it. Let's see. Yep, I think I got that side. Oh, I missed a little bit here in the middle, so I'm going to have to come back in. And put a little more foil on here. And I think I'll just do this. Alrighty. And right in there too, because I think there was a couple thin spots right back behind this area. I know this is an awkward camera angle. It's what happens when you have long and tall pieces that you have to kind of work around. So I'm gonna flip this this way. And then I have, I think I'm down to my last table leg right there. And let's see, I think it's just gonna need a little more foil. Because while there is plenty of foil to be released on those pieces, um, the cuts from using the other legs, all the um, pulled out spots are a little awkwardly shaped and it'll make a heck of a challenge for me to have to do it that way. All right, so I'm gonna put that right there. There we go, and brush it down. And did I, yes, I, hang on just a second. I'm hold my brush, my scrub brush onto the floor because I'm a genius. Okay, I love how this comes out. I know I keep saying that, but when I get excited about something, it's kind of hard to get me off of it. And again, I'm not burnishing all the way down to this edge right here because I don't want a straight line. Um, I want to peel this back, have a nice release, and then be able to shift down to this spot on the leg and 
foil over that, create an overlap spot that doesn't have a sharp edge. Oh my gosh. All right, let me lift this up, take a look at it, and see if I've missed any spots. And I do this with my fingers. This is the fastest way to see if you miss something. Just kind of go at it a little bit with your hand. And sometimes what looks like a miss spot is simply a shadow because there is black on this foil. It can look like you missed a spot when you actually didn't. So, I mean, I'm just looking how this is releasing so great. And I know you're watching the feet while I'm working at a spot at the top. But let's set that to the side now and pick the camera up. So I'm loving this. I'm going to pull this back so you can see a little better. I mean, that went from black and blah to look how romantically gorgeous those legs are to go with our flower top. Now we're not done this. This is, now that I've got the legs done, and they will be sealed because this adhesive stays sticky forever. So there has to be a top coat on here. I could rub a little glitter on here if I wanted to, and I might. I'm, I haven't decided what I'm doing with this lower ledge yet. Who knows? I might foil it. I might put adhesive on it and glitter coat it. We don't know yet, but I know up here, once I've figured everything else out, that's going to be epoxy. There's going to be an epoxy here. But the reason is... I like the way epoxy levels. This is a plant stand, so you know you can make it a little decorative table, but uh, I like to make sure that the top is nice and smooth. I can sand this down, make it a nice smooth surface with just the pattern hinted in it, but I love the way epoxy works for something that might have a lot of fluid on it. So I will probably epoxy this surface. All right, we're gonna set that back and we're gonna go over and work on the bar. All right, let me see if anybody has any. I'm going to take a second and scroll back and see if anybody had any questions that I missed. I'm Melanie. I, it's great to see everybody here. I really appreciate you taking the time on a Sunday to come watch with me, especially Super Bowl Sunday. I know some of you are going to be diehard fans and cutting me off as soon as like the pregame shows start. As far as I know, the pregame shows have started. All right, so we're going to do a quick little bit of foiling on the bar cabinet. I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me do the whole thing um, because it is Sunday. So give me a sec. Let me grab the camera. See if I can do it without dropping it today because, you know, I've dropped it before on y'all. Here we go. All right. Come with me. I'm going to get my little stool. Oops, I almost forgot my scissors and my brush. That would be bad. Isn't it fun to watch me walk around? get a little dizzy. Of course, that's how I feel walking in circles some days. All right. So we did on the bar behind me. Give me a second to get you all into the tripod that oh, I just broke my tripod, everybody. I am so proud of myself. Just broke my tripod holder. Okay, let's see what we can do here now. Hmm. That's going to take a minute. <laughs> The, the joys of being live. You have things break on you that you don't expect. All right, let's see if I can get this tripod that we were working on on the table over here. Hang on a second, everybody. Sorry about all this. It just snapped on me. Okay, I think we can do this. All right, sorry about the hand. Okay, dokey. Here we go. All right, so you should, you can see the bar now. I'm gonna move you back a little further, give you a better view of it. There we go. So I worked on this with you all yesterday in the live. And you know, I did the galaxy stone here and on the front. And then we have the exterior casing to create a final look for them. So I've got to get this so you can see something besides just gray. So I get this back a little further. There we go. There we go. I know this is technical difficulty. So we're using the Koi Cheetah foil on this. 
And I think what I'm going to do is start off with getting this frame around here because that will show you the most contrast and impact. Okay, now here's one of these things. This Koi Cheetah does have a slight direction to it, meaning when I look at it from the back, I can kind of see that the, the pull on this is the same direction as the roll. So if I'm going to apply it onto a vertical and a horizontal, I'm going to keep the foil going in the same direction. So we're going to do first here. Rolled over funny, so it sat down weird. All right, so I've got that rolled down. I'm rubbing it on. I'm going to take my scrubber. And again, as you can see, I've got this spot here, but I am not. I'm going to angle that up as I work here. I have this spot here. I am not scrubbing to the very edge because I don't want that sharp seam. I have a seam down here at the bottom. I am not scrubbing all the way to the edge there. Again, because I'm gonna to have to put more foil on and I don't want a sharp, sharp, sharp line on that. Wow, that just released so nicely. I don't want a sharp edge here where I'm gonna be patching everything together. Oh, that's really cute. I hope you can see that. Oh, yeah. Now I can see right here, I had a thin spot because I was being careful not to um, have a sharp edge, so I didn't do what I needed to do right there. But look how great that came out. And I don't know if you can see that, so I'm going to lift it up little bit and we're going to do the top which should have a little more light. Stop. I think that should work for us. And let me get this way. I'll work with the other side when we're done. <laughs> no Super Bowl in the UK. Very funny, Susan. Thank you. I, I feel like I'm missing something, Rima, but I always find it. There are days, you know, I'd, I'd miss my head if it wasn't permanently attached to my shoulders. All right, so I'm taking smaller pieces to go across here. And again, not going right to that edge because I don't want to end up with a sharp line. I know I keep repeating that, but it is important because inevitably somebody says, <coughs> excuse me, inevitably somebody will say, but I got to ask, uh, how do I get rid of the seams? Well, you don't make seams. Because there, see where we had what would have been a seam? There is no seam there. And that released so nicely. Let me see if I've got a little spot right there that I need to get with my fingernail. Sometimes you get an odd texture spot. And there's this one. And I'll overlap it with the other edge so we don't have. And that seems I'm going to take the bigger roll of Koi Cheetah off of there so I don't have it fall on my head because, yeah, that wouldn't be comfortable. But look how nicely that's working. I love this. Now, this is going to have the Koi Cheetah on it as well. And then in here, I had put, this was an older, when I did it the first time, there had been glitter on here. So I'm going to do something in here that plays with that texture. I might put glass beads. I haven't decided yet. Yes, Susan, it is extremely reflective, um, and that's what I like. It's very, very shiny. You get that nice, subtle cheetah pattern, which I know you all can see right in here. So I gotta, I mean, the camera's reversed, so I'm gonna show, make sure, but you can see that cheetah pattern, and that shows everywhere on this. It doesn't, it doesn't easily show on camera because the way the light is in here, but it really, really, really shows as cheetah, and it's gonna go all over the sides. And even on the back, um, I, I don't do perfect finishes on the backs of my pieces of furniture, but what I do do, excuse me, I go over this way so you're not getting the back of my head while we do this. What I will do is make a very neat back so that it doesn't look half done. Oh my, 
serious hearing. <laughs> I don't know if you all hear, heard that, but my iPad Siri decided to, to talk to me. I don't know why. I wasn't speaking to her. All right, let's take that off. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, I really like how that's coming out. And then, oh, clunk. A couple little spots right there and right there. And then I'm gonna take the last of this and do it right at the corner and starting down the side. Just a little spot right in there. And then I'll just piece in right perfectly and you'll never even know that it was patched. Oh yeah. And just look at this, this is so pretty. I am so happy. And there's a couple little spots like right in here and these are probably what I would call the overlap spots. So I just want to go and kind of erase them. And actually that, yeah, the, actually doing this on camera helped help me to see the thin spot and the overlap spots here and here. So it made it so that, uh, how would this foil hold up in a bathroom? Once it's top coated, it'll hold up to damn near anything. It is not a problem in the bathroom. Um, I've, I've done it in a powder room in my house. I've done it in clients' background, uh, bathrooms. Holds up very well. It just has to be top coated um, because it's not, the, the foil is sort of like, think of the foil like a leaf. It is a little on the fragile side, side so you don't want to leave it uncoated. Um, also, with our foil adhesive, which stays permanently sticky, um, you kind of, <laughs> You kind of don't want to leave it uncoated because every time somebody walks near it, they will leave a, a little deposit of skin or hair or something on the wall. Dog walks by it, leaves a little dog fur for you. All right, I'm getting down to the bottom here. All right, so you can see, I have to bottom to do still, so, but I don't think you all need to sit and watch me do that. It's not that, you see me do the whole rest of the sides and I'm gonna finish up everything today. Call it a day, go home, enjoy the Super Bowl with my husband. Once again, sorry, I gotta get, trying to get this so that you're looking at me, not the top of my head. So thank you again, everybody for joining me. Do not hesitate to ask questions. Your dogs aren't that well trained. <laughs> what I meant was if you put this on a wall and they brush by it, I didn't think they were going to use the bathroom. <laughs> oh my God, Susan, you just cracked me up. That was the laugh I needed for the day. All right, everybody, enjoy your Saturday. Or gosh, Sunday. Enjoy your Sunday. Have a great one. If you're here in the, uh, the States, enjoy the Super Bowl. If you're not, enjoy the fact that you're not watching the Super Bowl. And I'll talk to everybody later. Once again, paintedstudio.com. All of these products are available. I will list everything we've used in the post once this is posted. And you will be able to find all of these on YouTube. Every live that I've done is on YouTube under my name, Maury Curtis Dunbar, on YouTube, subscribe. They're always there. You can always find them. You can use them for reference. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.